Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I want to do a vocal coach reacts to Bill Withers and Stevie Wonder, uh, and the song is called Ain't No Sunshine. Now I've done a version of this myself of the Bill Withers tune, and I'll put it in the description and you can check it out for yourself to see how I did. But uh, with that said, let's just go ahead and rock and roll on this. Now this was done, speaking of rock and roll, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, and it was, I guess, the 20th what does it say? Uh, 2015, that's what it is. So without much further ado, let's just do this, and here we go. Steve said I could be his assistant harpeggio player. Okay, something right out of the arpeggio player. Uh, this is actually a device um, that you can do a lot of things with it, but um, it collects a guitar sample in this case, and he's playing a guitar sample. And to be honest, it's a little clunky at the start, so um, definitely not digging on the, the intro of this yet, but it's Stevie, so I'm sure it's gonna get great any second. So let's continue, here we go. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. When she's away. It's a little flat there. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Here we go. She's always gone too long. And it dies, she goes away. Still a little Even clunky. This time where she's gone. If she's now he's in the groove. That's good. We're, we're in the groove now. Ain't no sunshine. Okay, I have to comment on this part here. Um, in that section of this song, if you listen to the original, well, I know, 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 and I know, I know, I know. He does this big, long, I know, I know. Now, the genius thing of that is, if you listen to the original or listen to my version, there's some amazing breath control. Try to see how long you can hold out those I know, I know, I knows, right? And then he kind of uh, exits that riff in a kind of an awkward rhythmical uh, way. And I think what Stevie was doing just now, I think he was kind of making fun of it or having fun with it. And I think that the reason that Bill's laughing is that he knows that Stevie's making fun of it. So it's like an inside joke, except it's not inside now because Ken Tamplin just told you about it. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, so I think the, there's a little chuckle behind the scenes of him kind of overdoing that section. Uh, and that's just my opinion, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Here we go, let's continue. No sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness every day. And no sunshine when she's gone. And this house ain't no gone. And it's gone. Okay, now I wanna, I wanna say one more, one more kind of interesting thing about this. I've done a lot of Stevie songs in my life, and I've done, done a couple that were cool, and I've done some epic fails. And I remember, like Sir Duke, for example, I remember various songs that I've done, you know, Sign Seal Delivered and whatnot, and just plethora of hits, just crazy amount of hits that Stevie's had. And he almost is like left brain, right brain in the way he performs. Let me explain this. It's like his left brain is the instrumental side, can just go on and be subconscious and do this thing over here. And his right brain is going on doing this riffing on the other side. And they rhythmically may not meet, but for some way he's able to separate his brain and keep locked down the instrumental side. Now, for those of you that ask, you know, how do you sing and play at the same time? Well, he takes that to a whole new level. Like he's playing some crazy lick and then he's singing. So like, dun, 
you know, Sir Duke. Hey, you know, hit me. You know, there's almost like these James Brown sort of stabs and that are very uh, opposite or pulling against the rhythm of it. And he does a lot of vocal licks like that too, which leads me to another point. Guys, and this is really important. Please listen to what I'm about to say for you singers out there. Stevie Wonder is sort of like the poster child of singing a lot of riffs and licks and melismas and stuff in his music. But when Stevie did it, first of all, he's one of the original guys to do it. It was very natural to him and it never got in the way of the song. Like he always had this great song and this great melody and whenever he'd do a lick, it's like a guitar player that could play a fast lick but doesn't play fast all the time. He plays appropriately for the song and then when it's time to open up, he does his thing and then he comes back and plays for the song. Same thing with Stevie. Stevie will, you know, sing his, his you know, his chorus and his verses and whatnot, keep those somewhat straight, and then when it's time to riff, he'll riff. Well, in today's climate, vocal climate, uh, it seems to be like, you know, everyone wants to draw attention to themselves, is to show off, to show how cool that they are. So it's either I can sing a high note, or I can do this lick, or this riff, or this melisma thing over here. Well, it's kind of lame because what happens is it's really distracting, and it gets in the way of the song, and it distracts and detracts from the beauty of a lot of songs. So I hear a lot of covers and stuff, or you know, all this crazy stuff. Guys, sing for the song. He never stepped on his own foot uh, and, you know, got in the way of himself when he was doing his music. He always let the music speak. He always told a great story. You could always hear it. And then when it was time to show up, you can show up. So let's kind of maybe get back to some of that. Again, it's a, my own personal feeling. But again, it's not about just singing the high note. And it's not about this cool lick that makes you a great singer. It's about your artistry delivering the song, delivering the story, the, the, the swag, the charisma, the emotion, the passion. And then when it's time to show off your talent and all the cool licks that you learn, how high you can sing, you do that later. Sorry for my rant, but I did have to put that in there. I wonder when Bill's gonna sing. I'm, maybe this is just a tribute to Bill and he's not gonna sing at all because we're, we're coming in the home stretch here, but let's check it out. Different every time. Cool. Like Aretha. See what I mean? Different stabs rhythmically against what he's playing. Yes, yeah, so this is more. She goes away. I guess this was more of a, uh, was more. I guess this was a tribute to Bill Withers. It should have been labeled differently. Uh, but you know, that was really cool, man. One legend, you know, uh, you know, paying a tribute or homage or eulogy or um, eulogizing, I should say, not a eulogy, it means he's dead, uh, or usually, but uh, eulogizing another great artist. So, hey, if you guys like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be super awesome. I have a singing course. Yes, there is a shameless plug for my singing course. Why? Because it's cool and it works. <laughs> no, seriously though, um, we're, we walk you through all this stuff step by step step, whether it's melismas and singing cool riffs, whether it's singing for the song, whether it's tone. Now in Stevie's case, I want to add one little extra thing. He sings with a lot of knees alley. Yeah, anytime she goes away, right? And you know, there's a lot of people to do it. Axl Rose does it, you know, uh, Klaus Mine from the Scorpions does it. Uh, we talked about female vocalists, Celine Dion, Donna Summer, um, you know, Barbara Streisand. A lot of people use this nasality. And, but I choose not to use that as the first line of defense for singing. I like to get this out a lot more warm and round, though I do love Lou Graham and other people that use nasality, um, but at the same time too, and then you warm it up and only use nasality when you need it or want it for an effect, okay? All right, guys, and until next time, please like and subscribe to my channel, and God bless you. Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay? Thanks guys. Peace. Out.